Hi, I'm Kevin Steele. Leupold's Tom Fructel and I are here in the Pyrenees Mountains of northern Spain, where we will be hunting two of Europe's most common and also affordable species, the fallow deer and the forest-dwelling mouflon sheep. We'll be hunting with Francisco Rosic and Hunt Trip Spain. It's a land of open meadows and deep, dark forests. So stay with us for today's episode of Peterson's Hunting Adventures. Closed captioning provided by Leupold. Kevin and Tom depart Barcelona and pass the mighty Massif on Montserrat, on their way to the home of their guide, Francisco Rosic. The reconstructed stone farmhouse will serve as the base for their hunt. long as you know whenever you got to go a long distance you know it, it just it's tiring it's long and tiring but I'm very happy to be here now it's and very nice. we all linked up in uh, Barcelona so uh, no lost people no lost luggage no lost guns so, yeah, so all good success. stuff yeah. success yeah absolutely <laughs> and perfect weather mm -hmm. perfect weather to almost too nice perfect, perfect. to go to the beach yes okay thank you you first. Hold fun. Welcome home. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 beautiful room. Nice. Joelle, your house is gorgeous. Thank you. Yes. Lots of work. A lot of work. work, yes. Settled in their rooms and with gear unpacked, the next step is to check the zero on Kevin's rifle. I think you're. Uh, I think you're right here. Yeah. Okay. So I, the elevation looks good. Elevation looks good. I I would shoot another yeah. one. Yeah. Four left. This is not the road. The load the uh, rifle had been zeroed to, but it's the same bullet weight. So. Okay. It should be real close. Okay, now you're dead nuts in the center. You, your uh, windage is perfect, and you're halfway up. Hmm? Pretty much like this. Right. Yeah, this is your point of aim, One, correct? One, two. That's two inches high at 100, then. Then that's good. Okay? Okay. All right, let's, let's see what we get. Shot. Bullseye! Beautiful. That's pretty dead yeah. nuts. <laughs> yeah. De I mean, you're just right there. So you need to go up. Um, you know what? Fire one more. Uh huh. Let's make sure everything's settled. And then we'll bring it up four and see if you're there. Okay. But don't touch the windage. <laughs> no, no, that looks pretty good. One, two, three, four. Okay. You're right there. We're good. This segment brought to you by CZ USA. Think this is the same old savage? Think again. 
This ain't no boardroom. This ain't no nine to five. No offense to your boss, but this is where the real work begins. Arm yourself accordingly. Ten point. There is no substitute. What's the all new VX3 about? It's about tradition. It's about the future. It's about pushing the limits of optical performance. And the extended twilight lens system. It's about the perfect shot. It's about rugged construction. It's about second generation waterproofing. Long range CDS dials. And a shockproof erector system. It's about the new standard in rifle scope excellence. This is what it's about. The all new VX3 from Lupo, America's optics authority. Hours of preparation have led to this moment. Passion and determination has pushed you to the edge. A trophy is in sight. Success is a well-placed shot away. Go ahead, claim your trophy. The new trophy bonded tip from Federal Premium Ammunition. In the field, on the range, every shot counts. Every day, the Smith & Wesson military and police line of firearms is tested, proven, and selected. The M&P is engineered and specifically designed to meet the requirements of professionals worldwide. Unmatched craftsmanship and reliability for defense, protection, and when life is on the line. The M&P. Advanced design. Advanced performance. This segment brought to you by Leupold. One thing that I've always been excited about was the potential of hunting a mouflon in Spain. They uh, ha have a totally different habitat than North American sheep. You hunt them totally different. When you do find one, you don't have much time to get set up and make the potential shot. And if you're lucky enough to get a mouflon, you have a trophy that you will enjoy an entire lifetime. They're just absolutely gorgeous animals. You know, what really surprises me about hunting Spain is the wide open areas that you have here. You think of Europe and you think of confined spaces, but what I found here are wide open spaces like where I live in the northwest part of the United States. And it's absolutely breathtaking vistas and views and the animal are abundant, the people are friendly, and Hunt Trip Spain, what a fantastic outfitter. Tell, tell me the, the typical uh, movement of mouflon sheep that are in this area uh, in, the, in the morning, and where would we expect to see them? Well, for the, with the weather conditions we're having, which has been hot and and um, hot. <laughs> I guess they will be moving uh, either eating some grass outside in the fields or they start to be uh, acorn, uh, acorn uh, uh -huh. nuts. Uh -huh. So either in, in, in any of the two places okay. moving around but for, with the weather is, 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 is being so hot I think it's gonna be just maybe half an hour in the morning and then then they're bedded. Bedded yeah. out in, in, uh, in, in, in the, the forest. forest. Yeah. I think mouflon are kind of an interesting sheep because it, I believe it's one of the few species you don't have to actually climb for. You know, their habitat is the forest. Yeah. And, and yet they're such a distinctive and beautiful little animal. Uh, you know, the horns resemble that of a, of a bighorn. Uh, and they're coloring uh, kind of a rust brown, black, white patches. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful little animal. Well, I've hunted sheep uh, four different times and I can tell you my Climbing sheep hunting days yeah. might be coming close to an end. Mm. Close to an end. I think sheep hunting is uh, is definitely a sport for younger men, <laughs> yeah. or at least older men in better shape. Yeah, right? that, there you go. Yeah, older men in better shape. Following breakfast, the hunting party departs for the nearby hunting area, high in the Pyrenees. As the fog lifts from the valleys and the sun slowly crests the horizon the group reaches a deserted farmhouse and stops to glass the surrounding area for mouflon. 
as luck would have it, they immediately bump a couple of mouflon rams, one of which is an excellent trophy. Despite the long odds, Francisco decides to follow them up and moving slowly and quietly, he and Tom make their way over to the side of the canyon into which the rams have made their escape. Okay, Tom, that one is the shooter. Let me give you the distance. 183 yards. 123. Okay. Well done, sir. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you, you got, got good it? eyes, Francisco. <laughs> Thank you very good much eyes. Well done. All right. <laughs> hey. We smoked them. <laughs> all right. Oh, all man. Right. Oh, and they got down in this heavy stuff. I thought it was all over. Yeah, Kevin, I think it was a different one. The two that we saw up on top, we believe, went down around the base of the hill. And then Francisco found a different one. Uh, okay. Francisco saw him, and I, I set the sticks up. Yeah. And you know, there, there is no mess. <laughs> congrats, congrats. Thanks. Boy, I tell you, the plan came together. It, it was a little touch and go there. Uh, when uh, those two bailed off the edge, I didn't think you'd, uh, you'd find one. Well, we definitely didn't find those two, but he was lucky enough to find another one, and it was very rapid. Yeah. <laughs> Francisco gave me the range at 180 yards and I used your shooting sticks and <laughs> it sighted in at 200 yards so we just had an excellent shot. Well, I tell you, these sheep, because of where they live in the forests, um, they don't give you a, a whole lot of trigger time. No, I mean, you're going to see, they'll be in an opening and then they'll be behind a tree and then yeah. they disappear. You've, you've got to squeeze pretty quick on them. And, yeah. when, and when they start walking, they don't stop like most of the game. They, oh, they give curious. you two sec seconds and take a look. They just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. keep going. Keep yeah. going. And this one, when I first saw him after, after you uh, spotted him, uh, he was looking right at us. He, okay. he knew we were there, and it, it was uh, quick. Yeah. It was quick. Well, very I tell much you, so. when, when you've only got a chance for one shot, you know, it's very important to have the right range. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's why the range finder is so important. Well, in this one here, we were shooting up at a pretty steep angle, and it has an inclometer in it, the loophole rangefinder, okay. so you, you get the true ballistic range. Yeah, so you don't have to just hold low and, and it, hope for the exactly. best. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it tells you what to shoot to. Tom, you know, you're talking about these products, and, and the truth is what is helping the most is us guides, you know, make our work easier, faster, and more precise. So thanks, loophole, for coming up with those beautiful and wonderful products. Well, one shot, one kill, that's the proof right there. Yeah, it sure was. Thanks a million, oh, you Kevin. Bet. Well Francisco, done, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco, again. Thank Good you. Good job. <laughs> this segment brought to you by Savage Arms.
If you think this is the same old savage, think again. This ain't no boardroom. This ain't no nine to five. No offense to your boss, but this is where the real work begins. Arm yourself accordingly. Ten point. There is no substitute. Introducing Vendetta, the only bow-mounted laser rangefinder. Minimize movement, maximize success. Vendetta, only from Leupold. This segment brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Day two dawns bright and clear. The group heads to the hunting area at first light. And as the fog lifts from the mountain valleys, their search for a good fallow buck begins. Shall we go for a walk? Yeah, morning walk. Let's go. Heading into the direction of the roaring deer, Kevin and Francisco move into position for a possible shot. No, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. It's wider, but there is bigger ones. This cat is not the one. The palms are not, it's not very palmy. The palms are not very wide. Very wide. This is spectacular, but it's not the one. Well, this hunting area where we, we are now, which is uh, what we call uh, the Lower Pyrenees area, is uh, relative close to Barcelona. And Barcelona, is being a big city, is kind of uh, shocking to find a place so remote, but being that close which is an hour and a, and a half away from Barcelona. The species we hold in the area is red deer, red stag, fallow deer, mouflon sheep, and wild boar. We did uh, good calling uh, management to take the, genet the bad genetics away from, from this area, plus we, we brought new blood here. So right now, I can tell, and I'm very proud about it, that we have a very high quality trophies of all of those species. This segment brought to you by Smith & Wesson. If you think this is the same old savage, think again. 
For me, there's no better pastime than shooting clays in my backyard. If you've got a place to shoot, Champion's Easy Bird series of throwers rule the sky. You can now shoot ATA singles and doubles with the new Easy Bird Auto Feed Double. The durable and portable design comes with 100 clay capacity and throws both singles and doubles from 35 to 50 yards and easily adjusts up to a 30 degree elevation. Champion traps and targets. Shoot better, have fun.